Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes when you take a picture of a reflection, you can get a nice sort of effect, but the water, the reflection isn't as nice as the top ones, particularly if you don't happen to be using a polarizing filter, which I wasn't at this case. So what can you do about it? What effectively you've got here is a color cast, so why not use white balance? Um, let's try that. So a way to do this is just use the rectangular tool in this case, but effectively we're going to select the water. So I shall select that there. Um, I want to soften the edge a bit, so I'm going to go to the quick mask, which is up here. And I just want to soften that edge there. So if I go to filters, blur and average, no, excuse me, filters, blur and Gaussian blur. There we go. And I want to play with the edge here just to soften that a little bit. Or I could use a brush. There we go. Let's apply that. Now then, turn the, this off and just go to white balance. So adjustments here, white balance. If I use the picker, I can pick up on something that's going to be white. If you look up here, it's going to be door frames and things that paint around there, isn't it? So let's go into one of those and click on that. Yeah, or maybe try the paint up here. But it's what you're getting is 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 effectively it's not doing it through the tint, but we're pushing it into the blue. So that means we can play with this. We can actually approve this to we, you know, if you go too far, then you can get the sky bits is bluer, but just go far enough so that it looks kind of okay. So see, we've pushed this quite a bit. What we can do as well is is play add a bit of um, saturation of some sort. So we'll go down and go to the vibrance one down here. Now if I turn up the saturation, that can help. Or I can try the vibrance, which just pulls up the less saturated colours. Yeah, and that's sort of interesting. Well, so you find some bounce here, so you have to move the vibrance somewhat further. If you bring up the saturation as well, it starts to go bit mad. So we can find somewhere here, maybe we'll stick to the vibrance and look at things like the reds, those will, those will show where it's done. So there are vibrance up 100%. Look how much better this is already. Just going from the original here up to that one there. Look, you've got a blue sky in there. You've got the nice colour. Control D, don't need the marching ants. So there we go. Very quick and easy. Mask out the bits you want and don't want. Apply a white balance and click on something to get a hint out of where to go. Then play with the sliders and then add vibrance uh, and play with the vibrance and saturation to boost it to whatever you want. There we go. Thank you very much for watching.